since the entire world has fallen in love with Fortnite. Allow me to tell you, how Fortnite was made. Well, back in 2011 Fortnite was first revealed at the Spike Video Game Award Show in California. Giving players a world to explore, build and ultimately survive and play in. However with no real development in place, the only reason for the reveal was to generate public interest in order to find a publishing partner. Twelve months later Epic Games announced Fortnite would be released in 2013 exclusively on the PC, but the game was far from complete. In May of 2014 with no release date on the horizon, it was announced that Fortnite would be a free-to-play game upon its release. During the same year, Epic finally had a working prototype ready, with most of the major functions taken care of. Thanks to the game's Unreal 4 engine system, Fortnite is able to support over a hundred players at once battling on a single map. With a clean and creative interface in mind, the development team used works from Pixar, Tim Burton, and Looney Tunes as inspiration for all of the design elements. The following year in 2015, testing began with beta versions and surprisingly over 50,000 players joined. Two years later in 2017, Fortnite was finally released on all platforms including the Mac OS. Although it took almost six and a half years to finish Fortnite, the victory is rather sweet considering the game has already been nominated for over eight awards and has raked in close to half a billion dollars. If anybody would like to get smoked and wants to turn into a Fortnite pack, you can surely pull up with Alfred in Battle Royale. Thanks for watching your boy Alfred, and please don't forget to subscribe for more.